But again, this is our second meeting of the month, and as I promised, we'll have an update uh, every second meeting of the month. So first things first, I wanted to give a quick funding update for the event hub um, specifically, and this is out of Project Fund 407. Um, we have Director Crawford over there. Maybe you want to join me at the podium. But I wanted to just give you an idea. I'm not going to read through all of these council members, but um, this is the grant funding um, that we, um, as you can see, have received and in some cases are still awaiting. So we've got the $1 million, uh, federal allocation on the federal budget, which we're waiting for Congress to give the budget over to the president to sign. Um, and then we have the LEO Community Center uh, federal grant that we're waiting on, which obviously is a huge chunk of that's 2.5 million, huge chunk of this. And of course, the Ralph C. Wilson Foundation grant application, which we're awaiting word on as well. So the total, there we go. So if we look at the expected transfers in um, from those various funds, the total with those grants would be 8.576 million of that project, which would more than fully fund that um, the event hub without dipping into um, any of the new millage money. Um, so in essence, um, we are in a holding pattern until we know um, if we're going to receive those grants. The LEO Community Center grant, the $2.5 million grant application, we will know in January. And the Ralph C. Wilson Foundation grant application, we will know by April. Um, the federal budget, the million dollar earmark in the federal budget, you probably know more than I do about when that's going to happen because I, <laughs> who knows? Um, we're, we're just awaiting those. So in any event, um, I also wanted to mention that the event hub total cost will be reevaluated um, upon the engineering and architectural being completed in 2024. And that was the next thing in my update was that we had recently, as you know, Council had authorized bids to be received for the art engineering and architectural. I believe we had 15 bidders, um, right? Fifth, no, okay, one of you. We had 15 show up to our okay. mandatory walkthrough. Okay. And we hope, Deputy City Manager DeGoster, that we'll be bringing a bid award back to City Council for their approval at the January 3rd meeting. Yes, that's the intention. The, the RFPs are due tomorrow at 4 p.m. for the architectural and engineering uh, RFP. So. so how, you know, one of the things, council members, I do want to mention regarding the event hub specifically is the estimated cost that we had previously received for that. We will know more specifics in terms of what it will actually cost, not just the estimates, but more of a specific cost. How far down the process do you think that will be? Uh, we gave this project an aggressive schedule. Uh, the city manager would like to see it on the ground in calendar year 2024. So we are set to meet in mid-January with the awarded, assumingly we award a, a vendor in early January. Uh, we would like to sit down with them within the first week or two uh, to begin the process of schematic design and um, the early design of the project. Once, I would give it a couple months by the time we get to that 30% completion mark, and at that point, we'll begin really drawing in the prices for the project. So I would hope by, by mid-year, we'll have a, a total construction cost. Okay. okay. We're going to have a total construction cost by mid-24? This is just for the event hub. Oh, yeah, okay. Just yeah. for the event hub. Okay. Yeah. Well, and we, so unless there are other questions regarding the event hub, I'm going to flip over now to the community center. So regarding the bond council RFP, um, that will be live on BidNet um, this week, and we expect to begin receiving um, bids um, and submissions for that RFP by mid-January, and that will be for the community center. Very excited about that part of it, and of course the bond council um, that we select will, will guide us in uh, issuing bonds and, and so forth. Um, also, the housing study <laughs> results um, I do want to mention um, Director Maroney is going to be bringing those, as you know, we had a very comprehensive housing study done citywide, but it also included the um, community center area um, for a few properties over there. Uh, Director Maroney, I've asked her to come back on Tuesday, January 16th in a work session where we'll be kind of going over the results of those. Um, I think we're 
we're very pleased with the results of the housing study. Um, and then I, that is it. I'll, I'll be happy to accept any questions, um, but that's my update. I do have a question. Yes. So if we don't get those grants for the event hub, are we gonna go ahead anyway? Well, you know, I think, I think one of the things that we'll have to do um, is probably do some value engineering in the project. So if, if in, and make a determination of whether or not, if at that point, if we don't get those grants, we want to use um, some of the new millage money towards the event hub. If we don't, and this is a decision that city council has to make, if we don't, then we'll have to value engineer the project to be less than we've expected it to be. So we'll have to cross that bridge when we get there, but that's well, we're a- We're gonna do it regardless. That's, that's what I'd like, yeah, absolutely. Okay. It, it may not be, you know, if we don't successfully attain those grants, it may be in a lesser form than we previously hoped, hoped yeah. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get the grants. I hope so, fingers crossed. Mm -hmm. Good I mean, we've, we've received a considerable amount of money in the form of grant funding already, which mm -hmm. I, I continue to praise, um, you know, Crystal Van Vleck and others for, um, you know, five, six million dollars in grant money is nothing to sneeze at, it's a big deal. So I'm very, very happy with that so far. But we still have a ways to go because our goal has always been to fund that event hub project without dipping into the new tax millage money. And we're gonna to continue to push until we know differently, so. Good work. So council members, that completes the city manager report.